Here are our top five stories of the week. Number five, Hype reveals the map of the next eight stations of its Isle de France Green Hydrogen Network. Hype will deploy eight new green hydrogen distribution stations in Ile de France before mid-2024, with the first station opening in September 2023 at Porte de Bercy. These stations will increase Hype's network capacity to distribute seven tons of green hydrogen per day and will be powered by locally produced green hydrogen and renewable electricity. Hype has formed partnerships with seven organizations to diversify and accelerate the development of hydrogen mobility uses, including a potential station on the Stellantis site in Carrier South Poissy. Number four, Bloom deemed leader in growing stationary fuel cell market. Frost and Sullivan identifies Bloom Energy as the clear market leader in the stationary fuel cell market, particularly in solid oxide fuel cells since 2010. The global fuel cell market is projected to grow at a cager of 15.4% from 2022 to 2030, with Bloom Energy holding a significant market presence in the United States and South Korea. Data centers are seen as a key driver for future fuel cell market growth, and Bloom Energy is well positioned in this sector, offering reliable and low carbon power solutions that address the challenges faced by data center operators. Number three, Biden-Harris administration set to boost clean hydrogen economy with $1 billion initiative. The U.S. Department of Energy plans to invest up to $1 billion in a demand-side initiative to support regional clean hydrogen hubs, H2 hubs, I mean to create a national clean hydrogen network and reduce emissions in energy intensive sectors. The initiative will provide market certainty to hydrogen producers and end users in the early years of production, unlocking private investment and creating good paying jobs. The notice of intent seeks public input on the program's design, including benefits, risks, governance structures, and potential involvement of private sector institutions, with the possibility of expanding similar mechanisms to other technologies in the future. Number two, Nikolai secures $41.9 million grant accelerating zero emissions infrastructure for heavy-duty hydrogen fuel cell electric trucks in California. Nikola and Caltrans receive a $41.9 million grant to build six hydrogen refueling stations in Southern California, supporting the state's zero emission vehicle strategy and truck parking needs. The strategically located stations will improve air quality, reduce noise pollution, and have a capacity to refuel approximately 80 to 100 trucks per day. Nikola aims to establish future-ready infrastructure to support the anticipated growth of its hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles and promote sustainable transportation solutions. Number 1. Nikola reports second quarter vehicle production deliveries. Nikola achieved strong Q2 sales with 66 retail and 45 wholesale deliveries of its battery electric trucks. The company is dedicated to reducing costs and producing high-quality zero-emission Class 8 trucks, including upcoming hydrogen fuel cell electric models. Nikolai will announce full financial results on August 4, 2023, and will utilize a QAI platform to address investor questions during the earnings call. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We invite you to like, comment, and share with others that may like our content.